So this is my GE Ultra Fresh Dryer and Washer. Uh, they came in the sapphire blue, and this is what they look like when they're open. There's a light inside the machine. Here's the different settings of the washer, um, and here's the dryer ones. So this video is of the uh, dryer running a cycle, and it's to show you that the drum roller is not working properly. I had it serviced by a technician, and he said that he should be able to replace the part. And I haven't gotten a quote yet, but it should be free. Here's a video of the dryer door. It doesn't close properly, and I'm wondering if I can fix it myself, hopefully, but it doesn't latch on properly, as you can see in this video. I have to lift it and then latch it. So here's the user interface for the GE washer dryer app. As you can see, the washer is currently running and you can see what temperature the water is and like how much it's spinning. You can see the also the uh, monthly usage uh, of the washer dryer, how much you use them in a week or a month. And you can also see the dryer sheets, but I don't really use that. So this is a video of the washer running on one of its cycles. And as you can see, it's it's shaking quite a lot, but not too bad. It's running on the final um, spin cycle, and you can see that here. But I have adjusted all the feet and it's level. Here's all the buttons that you could press and the settings you could select for the dryer. It has the washer link at the bottom so it can talk to the washer to see what the cycle is going to be. And here's me emptying the catch basin at the bottom of the washer. So instead of pulling it, you kind of fold it down. And now that plug is exposed. So I put the bowl in to catch the water. It wasn't too hard to get it open. <laughs> and I made the mistake of not having a big enough towel <laughs> because like, quite a lot of water came out and the actual catch thing it didn't have much in it uh, this is about the Wi-Fi label location I had trouble finding it when we were first setting up the washer dryer um, and then this is the example of how many clothes you can put in for each cycle so this is all the parts that were supplied with the washer and dryer. Um, I wanted to say too that it has the dryer has its own um, thing for steam. It has its own water hookup. Uh, this is all the uh, settings for the washer that you can choose from and what it's like an example of what you would need that for. Overall, I'd say I love the washer dryer. I've had them for about a month now, and the things I like about it is it's well built and it's easy to use. It's connected to my phone, so I know like when the cycle is going to end, and it gives me an alert when the cycle is five minutes from being over, and also when it is over. Um, it's not too noisy when it beeps. It's got a like a nice chime when the cycle is finished. Um, it's got a good warranty. It's got um, 10 year warranty, nine years paid um, to have it repaired, and one year's free repairs. Uh, it's got good stain removal. It says that on the reviews that it's 5% above average compared to other washers, and I've noticed that it's really good at getting stains out. Um, the ultra, ultra fresh vent system, it lasts for 8 hours, the cycle, and when it's finished, it's completely dry and it smells brand new. Um, I've never had any problems with water being left over in the machine afterwards. Um, the internal, like the, the water heater to sanitize, it removes all allergens in the washing machine. So it's got its own water heater in the, wa in the washing machine. Um, it's got its detergent dispenser. 
so like it it can send it like more or less or normal amount of detergent to be used in the cycle um the things i don't like about it is the dryer door i showed in the video that it was hard to close um the drum roller needs to be repaired um the machines were pretty expensive it was thirty four hundred dollars in canadian dollars after tax um the dry cycle for the um the dry cycle for the uh, allergen it lasted for four hours so that's pretty long uh, the washer was really heavy when the men were bringing it in they said it was about 250 pounds so if you had something fall behind the washer it's pretty hard to get it out um, like moving it uh, and yeah I'd say overall I love them both they're very good and yeah